6, I'm Kelly Swoop. Today, Baltimore police released the body camera footage of an officer shooting an armed 17-year-old boy. WMER 2 News is Brittany Verner live outside police headquarters. We saw the video. Brittany, what happened? Well, in the body camera footage, you can see the interaction between that officer and the 17 year old moments before that shooting. Loved ones tell us that 17 year old has a long road to recovery. Shots fired, shots fired. He lost a kidney and a half a lung and a spleen. It's the injuries a 17 year old was left with after he was shot by a Baltimore City police officer last Thursday. Yeah, it scared me because I ain't never seen nothing like that before. They said he had a gun, but when I was looking at him, I didn't see no gun. No Marcus has known the team since he was born and was in the area when it happened. Tuesday, police released this body camera footage of the incident. It shows an officer approaching the scene who was expected of carrying a gun take off running. And once they reached the corner of South Catherine near McHenry Street. Stop! 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 Put the gun down! Here you see in the circle is the individual carrying the firearm. Police say the teen pulled out a handgun with an extended magazine from his belt, and that's when the officer shot him. That is the weapon uh, that fell from the individual's hand. Officers immediately started to render aid until the ambulance arrived. Police say the gun the team was carrying was stolen out of a car in the summer of 2021. Here you can see the officer pick up the firearm for his safety. Back up! After people in the community showed their outrage following that shooting. The officer who fired his weapon is Detective Cedric Ellaby. He's been with BPD since June of 2019. And some people in the community say he's no stranger to their neighborhood. He come around here from time to time just to harass people. And they are just upset this ended with a teenager being injured. I mean, everybody was angry because the police officer shot a kid. Everybody was pissed. The decision to use deadly force is always based on the need you know, reasonable, proportionate, and necessary. And the officer has to determine that in a second, in a nanosecond. But it is based on the threat and the potential of threat. Commissioner Harrison says he's unaware of any complaints involving that officer who fired his weapon. However, right now he's been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of this investigation. Reporting live at police headquarters, Brittany Verner, downtown. WMAR2 News.